Hi, I'm Murray Baker, I'm the president of the OFSC here in Ontario, and this uh, video is going to highlight all uh, many of our districts around the province and, and here at the show. So, welcome and thanks, enjoy. Hi, I'm Sylvain, I'm with the Carlton Regional Snowmobile Club here representing for uh, District 1 or the Upper Canada Snowmobile Region. Um, and a few things that are special with our, uh, our club or our region. Uh, we have Canada's longest snowmobile bridge that crosses from Ontario to Quebec. It's a repurposed uh, rail bridge. Um, so that's great for, for visiting. It was new uh, as of last year. Um, we also have lots of accommodations, lots of uh, ways to cross into Quebec from Ontario. Uh, so it's a great place to visit. Uh, we've got a lot of trails in our system, a good mix of fields, of forests, uh, flatland, rail beds, uh, just a, a good mix all around. So uh, please come and visit our area. I'm Catherine, I'm the district administrator for District 2, and I think District 2 is the best district in all of Ontario because I have the most amazing clubs. I only started with them a year ago and every single one of them guided me anytime I needed help, anytime I was completely confused where the trails were, they always were standing behind, beside me. A year, a year in, I think I'm doing really well and it's only because of my seven clubs that I adore. Okay, I'm Muriel Moynes from District 3, the Long Sioux Snowmobile Club. We're on E108. We have a variety of trails that go from Port Perry to Sherbert Lake. Lots of sub trails, a wide variety of trails uh, through Farmers Field, the Long Lakes, several clubhouse, Port Perry, Long Sioux are open on weekends, small snack bars, indoor facilities. So we'd welcome you at any time or to join our clubs at any time. Hi, this is District 4. We're just on the north of uh, Greater Toronto, uh, GTA, the G uh, Greater Toronto area. Uh, we run all the way from uh, about Fenland Falls in the east to Grand Valley in the west and up as far as Barrie. Um, as long as we have snow, we're the best place to ride because you're close to uh, Toronto. 20, 30 minutes away and uh, on your sled you go. So pray for snow and we've got wonderful scenery on the edge of the High Niagara Escarpment on the west side. We've got access to Lake Simcoe on the south end there. So come ride District 4. Hi, I'm Scott Simpson from the Port Passy District 5. I run the Pine Ridge Snowmobile Club. If you want to come to some great snowmobiling, come to District 5, anywhere from Turkey Point to Seaport to Graham Bend to Stratford, almost to Kitchener. We have great trails. We get the snow, uh, great driving equipment. I like out here River also. Uh, we have a lot of uh, places to stop if you want to see, see some scenery. We have lots of shacks with uh, lots of sleds sitting around them. We have Crabby Joe's in Exeter, which is a place when they eat and get warmed up. Yeah, and do a snow dance. Hey, welcome to District X, Ottawa Valley. Uh, it's a great place to sled. We have lots of accommodations. Uh, we have a number of tours. We have the RAP tour goes around Gonquin Park. Quite a lot of people do it every year. Uh, lots of accommodations on the trail. We have uh, the Ottawa Valley tour and the uh, new rail and travel tour. That's just new this year. So we open up a large corridor all the way down to Armprior, and then from Armprior you can go to Ottawa if you like. You go all the way over the far side of the park down to Halliburton area. So we encompass all types of terrain. And uh, every year we get lots of people that come through. We generally get snow fairly early in the year. So we're generally one of the first districts that open up, except for the, the far north. We're the, one of the next ones that open up down below. And we get lots of people around Christmas time and New Year's sledding and they enjoy themselves. And we're hoping for lots of snow this year. And we hope to see you there. Hey guys, this is uh, Nuns from Snowcrest Riders, District 7, Muskoka. Um, one of the reasons I think we have some of the best trails in Ontario, um, lots of options for day rides, lots of different terrain to an explorer. Um, we're probably one of the most centrally located systems within an hour, hour and a half of Toronto, GTA. 
um, great hubs to start your trips from, and we're the gateway to the north. So hi guys, uh, District 8, I think uh, for most of you, it runs from uh, Quarther Lakes through Aurelia down to Midland, Barry, over to Collingwood and up to the top of the mountain. The variety of trails that we have are spectacular. We run through uh, really nice, beautiful bushes, some rolling hills, uh, lakes around the Midland area, and we have a tremendous amount of uh, variety in our trails. We get a lot of snow. We have uh, guys that have been grooming for years, so the trails are usually perfect. And I would say that uh, the accommodations in all those areas are outstanding as well. District 9 is a fantastic place to ride. We always say great snow is closer than you think. We are located between the two snowmaking machines called uh, Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. So you're never far from anywhere. You can get to District 9 without getting on a 400 series highway and experience trails from bush trail to farm fields to the Bruce Peninsula. Our accommodators, our restaurants are friendly, they're welcoming to snowmobilers, and we'd love to see you here this year. My name is Jim Greenwood, I'm the president of Grandma Dogs on Boat Club, and I'm also the vice president of District 10, which is basically Perry Sound and District 10. The question was posed to me, why ride Perry Sound? And the simple answer is, we have the most scenic area in most of Ontario to see. We have lots of hills, lots of tight turns, lots of tight trails, lots of wide open trails. Right. Just in my sober club alone, we have seven lakes to cross, lots of lots of wildlife, lots of trees, and spectacular, spectacular sights to see. Hi, my name's Jennifer and I'm the club president for North Bay Snowmobilers. I'm part of District 11. We've got some of the best trails. We've got a snow explorer's route, we've got a great um, trails that are just a, a different a different trails everywhere so we've got we've got some uh, hydro lines we've got some bush riding we've got some lake riding we have easy access to all of our trails you can really literally get anywhere from district 11 so come on up and we'll see you on the trails okay i would like to talk to you a little bit about district 12. biggest thing about district 12 is we have the ability to ride uh, the loops we have four that i'd recommend there's the uh Carche moose loop it goes around into this area. It's about 205 kilometers. You can take off from Chelmsford, or you can take off from Azilda, or you can take off from Windy Lake. All great places to stay with, uh, with meals close. The other loop would be the, uh, be the Chinatucci loop in here. Again, you can, you can trailer to the uh, district yard and drop off here, or you can stay at the uh, Sportsman Lodge. Another great trail. Along here, what's exceptional is a lot of the old growth trees and you get a chance to come up into the Moose Mountain and get a big overview of the Subray District. This is, we have two other uh, areas down here, down south. This one here, this one goes through what we call the uh, uh, Sherwood Forest, which is another beautiful forested area. And it gets you down into the, uh, the beautiful uh, Sportsman Lodge down here in Killarney that offer you uh, great accommodations and great meals. From there, we get across, get get to go across the Big Water, which in itself is a great experience. But you get to come up into the uh, Espanola area and our final loop. That's this loop in here, and you get an opportunity to come into Espanola, again a, a, a town that uh, welcomes snowmobilers and has great accommodations and fuel. So that's our our, our short run on the uh, on District 12. We welcome you and, and, and hopefully we get to see you in the 2023 season. Okay, hi, I'm John Breckenridge, Sioux Trailblazers from District 13. Riding up north, great experience. The country is beautiful. Like everybody that's rode up here says it's been the nicest place they've rode. One of the big things we've been getting lots of con conversation about is Halfway Haven, which is a fuel stop, food stop on your way from Sault Ste. Marie to Wawa or Chapel to Wawa. It's be closed this year. We've got notification from the owners that they will not be open. But we do have a workaround. The trails will be groomed. So as you're leaving Sault Ste. Marie, you're going to get into uh, a lot of twists and turns, tight trails, and then it opens up into the power line, uh, and you get some nice open country riding. It's not flat. You're not riding an a express highway. You're going to meet snow machines. 
but nothing like Southern Ontario. If you run into 10 or 15 sleds in a day, you're doing good. It's, you're not going to run into lots like 300 sleds. So welcome to the Temiskaming Abitibi Trail Association. This district here, we are very happy to say that we have a bit of everything. We got straight stretches, we have ups and downs, we have twisties, and we have all kinds of scenery for you to enjoy. We have uh, underground, we have tunnels to go underneath uh, mining roads. We have access to many municipalities right downtown, as well as many hotels and accommodations right off the trail. It's very simple to also stage out of uh, any one of our municipalities in our district where you can enjoy days and days of riding right away. So come on up and enjoy District 14. Hey guys, this is Josh Walton, President, District 15, Northern Corridor. Coming for you live from the Toronto Snowmobile Show. Just wanted to talk a little bit about our trail network here. So we have probably the longest duration snowmobiling season in the entire province. Um, basically from December 1st till season close, you know, end of April, we've, we've got trails available. We've got networks being groomed. We've got top drawer volunteers, oodles of accommodations. Everything you ever wanted to do snowmobiling is, is right here. Um, no, no shortage of snow. Hi, Dave Goodman from the Emo Borderland Snowmobile Club. Northwestern Ontario and District 17 is the place to come and ride. You have easy access from Manitoba, three access points from Minnesota, and the highlight of our District 17 is definitely our 1,000 kilometer wilderness loop. It has miles and miles of wilderness riding, plus lots of communities that you can stop and, and uh, have a place to stay and eat along the way. Uh, probably one of the highlights of the wilderness loop is sometimes uh, you can ride for half a day and not see another snowmobile, which we kind of like. So don't come all at the same time, okay? Let's go. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel, where we release content on everything snowmobiling. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.